What is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario, and it's that time again. It is time to talk about anime. That's right. It's time for the the uh, summer season of anime to start. The spring season has ended. E3 has come and gone. Even though I'm still working on several E3 projects, uh, I'm still going to analyze the Metal Gear Solid Five trailer. There's a lot to talk. I'm some debate. I mean, I recorded the analysis, and it came to about 30 minutes. I might re redo it again to try to see if I can condense it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot <laughs> to talk about in this one trailer. Um, but yeah, so that's coming. I've been really interesting interested in the world of Final Fantasy, the game. Uh, there's other games too I'm also interested in as well. Uh, I, I might actually be doing some coverage on Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem. So, I mean, a lot of things going on, uh, you know, so I, the reason why I've been away is I have been trying to get these projects out. Um, but yeah, so interesting stuff is coming, but right now, let's talk about the summer season of anime. So the spring season is over. Spring season was actually okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be when I was looking at the list on Crunchyroll of the stuff that was coming out in spring before I started doing my spring reaction videos, I was thinking that, yeah, this is going to be crap. Uh, but there was actually some some standouts. You know, Arslan Sinki was good. Um, Kikai Sensen was good. Um, for some reason, I'm, I'm, a, I'm just drawn to, you know, girls in a dungeon. I mean, uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon? I've watched like half of that season already. And I'm like, why? I, I mean, when I did the reaction, I didn't expect to, I guess, like the show that much. It's actually pretty interesting to be a show that doesn't have nearly as much action as I usually need to be involved in a show. Um, but yeah, the summer anime season is looking interesting. We got a lot of... A lot of different things. I mean, some things are cliche. Some things have been done to death. But in any industry, you're going to get a ton of that nowadays. Because, well, things have been going on for so long. We've done everything, pretty much. But we do have some awesome shows. So, uh, I, I, I narrowed down the list to about 11 shows. that I, uh, 10 or 11 shows that I may or may not watch. I'm going to go over about four of them here. So, let's get started. First off, we have Shimonita. Now, I'm not going to say that whole name because I suck at Japanese and I'm not going to try it. It's like a freaking sentence. <laughs> you think you thought that uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon was wrong? This show, the name of this show is a sentence in Japanese. No. <laughs> But uh, Shimonita uh, is a pretty, it, it looks like it's going to be a comedy show. This is like something that would fit perfectly on like Adult Swim. Uh, it's basically in, set in this world where the world has become extremely conservative. Even coarse language has been banned from public use. And there's an organization going around committing uh, acts of obscenity as a way to fight against the new uh, conservativeness of the community. And, of course, um, you know, the main character is basically blackmailed into joining this organization by a guy that she likes. And so, basically, she's been blackmailed to join this organization and help them commit acts of obscenity. I mean, actual acts of obscenity. The trailer, yeah, the trailer looks funny. Like, that's kind of what I'm going into this show for. I usually don't go to anime for comedy. It usually just kind of happens, but this show looks like it could be funny. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Next one is uh, Ushio, no to Ushio Totora. Uh, Ushio Totora is a um, pretty interesting show with a premise that we've seen before, long ago. And if you're an old school Adult Swim fan, you'll, you'll know this right away. Uh, Ushio, Ushio Totora follows the tale of Ushio who is a young boy whose ancestors sealed a demon in what is now his basement by stabbing him with a spear uh, and sealing him to this wall. And, of course, the only way to release said demon is to, you know, basically pull out the spear. Um, so Ushio meets this demon for the first time and accidentally unseals the demon's essence, but not unseal the demon itself. 
and basically this attracts a bunch of other demons who want to fight him and to a greater I mean to a lesser extent Ushio himself so yeah this this sounds interesting huh it sounds familiar though it sounds like Inuasha <laughs> And, um, yeah, it, it does. And, I mean, I watched Inu Asha back in the day on Adult Swim all 300 times it aired. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was actually pretty interesting. And I'm definitely, definitely going to check this show out. Ryoka no Ushia. All right, now, this show, Ryoka no Ushia, is a pretty interesting show. It uh, actually follows, like, um... So it follows your basic fantasy, um, fantasy story type of story. <laughs> you know, a Majin awakens from deep within, you know, darkness of hell or whatever, and basically six heroes are chosen to defeat this Majin, and they're they're chosen to go to this rendezvous point to begin their mission, and seven people show up. So they believe one of these people is an enemy sent in to I guess infiltrate the group. And of course, they think, you know, the one person they think is the enemy is this one human dude that comes in and he's like, I'm the greatest in the world ever. And they think, yeah, this dick is probably the enemy. <laughs> and the show itself looks like it's going to be interesting, at least to me, because I'm all about fantasy stuff. You know, I mean, I mean, fantasy RPGs, fantasy movies, Lord of the Rings was awesome. That's me. You know, that's me in a nutshell. I'm a fantasy fanatic. So this show looks like it's gonna be interesting. Uh, the next show is uh, Gate. I'm just gonna call it Gate. I'm not that, again. That's a freaking sentence. I'm not doing it. <laughs> uh, but it's called Gate. It's uh, it's 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 set in, of course, future Japan, and like another show that came out last season, and also like other Japanese shows, a portal has opened from another world over Japan or in Japan. And creatures from that other realm come into the Japanese realm and try to take over Japan, you know. And it's creatures like ogres and elves and and soldiers and knights and horses and all these type of things come through the gate. And they try to take over and they kill a bunch of people until, you know, modern infantry kicks in. And we get helicopters and guns and tanks and they just get annihilated. Uh, So Japan sends an expeditionary force in. And, of course, the main guy on this force is um, Yuji Itame. And he's basically a member of the ground forces that are sent in to explore this region. And to him, this is a dream come true because he's an otaku and he's in a realm full of fantasy monsters, elf princesses, and vampire chicks. So, uh, of course, yet again, they'll probably fall into the fantasy tropes because it is a fantasy show and that's kind of what they do. But, like... The last show I talked about, I like fantasy, so I'm all for this. Um, The one thing I hope they expound upon to make this different is the political elements in the show. Because one part of the show is the Western powers are putting pressure on Japan to allow them to get into the gate so they can go all Avatar and exploit it for its resources. So, yeah, man. So, these four shows look pretty interesting. I mean, they're not going to be freaking award-winning, like, oh, my God, this is the new Code Geass type of shows. But they do look interesting enough to at least watch. Um, So, yeah, uh, watch out for part two of this video. I'll be doing uh, other anime like uh, Gangsta, Charlotte, and a couple of other ones that I'm still looking into. And this list might grow. You never know. I still don't know all the anime coming out in the summer. So, uh, yeah. You know, that's about it. Watch out for my other videos. Uh, check out my anime reactions if you want to know what I um, what I thought about the spring anime. And, um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and keep it real.